Would you now please welcome to the stage World Jewish Relief Trustee, Mr. Adam Lee. Chief Rabbi, Your Excellencies, Rabbonim, my lords, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Adam Lee, and those of you who attend this event regularly may be wondering what has happened to Emily Maitlis. <laughs> I've been a trustee at World Jewish Relief for the last five years, and let's face it, I'm not exactly a household name. In truth, I was doing very well at being totally anonymous. I'd happily ship up to board meetings, eat a few biscuits, and try not to offend anyone by actually saying anything. Unfortunately, your indefatigable dinner chair, Linda Rosenblatt, saw me recently make a presentation to a bar mitzvah boy at our shul, and that was that. She called Emily Maitlis, our highly accomplished compare for the last few years, and told her to carry on with her day job interviewing world leaders. <laughs> she then rang me to tell me that if I didn't do it, she'd have me demoted to assistant minute taker for the audit committee, so here I am. It's an absolute privilege to welcome you here tonight. My job is a simple and pleasurable one, to show you some of the highlights from the last incredible 12 months at World Jewish Relief. Later this evening, you'll hear about the difference your support can make and how you can help in the coming year. There's no doubt 2019 was a tough year, and within our own community, we faced significant challenges. But in this atmosphere, there has also never been a more important time to show how proud we are to be a Jewish organization representing all of you everywhere we work. Let's start in Ukraine, where we continued our audacious campaign to repair 3,500 homes belonging to older Jewish people across Eastern Europe. With great support from our patron, His Royal Highness Prince of Wales, and many supporters over the last year, we've repaired 590 homes. The photographer, Blake Ezra, traveled out to take some powerful photographs which featured in our Rosh Hashanah uh, appeal and showed the incredible difference our work makes to the homes lives and dignity of the people we help. We had a host of stars support us in different ways last year. Our sold out Jewish Voices event with Jewish Book Week saw Zoe Wanamaker, Henry Goodman, Nicholas Heitner and Jason Isaacs take part in a celebration of Jewish writing. The outgoing governor of the Bank of England, Mark Carney, was guest speaker at our business dinner where he was interviewed by BBC journalist Victoria Fritz. Although the highlight of the evening was when Paul Anticoni, our adored CEO, told a joke in his speech so politically incorrect that even Boris Johnson would have thought twice about telling it. It was also a year of awards, with the World Jewish Relief's great friend, Harry Heber, receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Jewish Volunteer Network. Harry was brought to the UK by World Jewish Relief as part of Kinder Transport and has run our optical program for the last 20 years. We are so thankful to have his support and wish him many congratulations. On the subject of awards, sadly, I was yet again rather surprisingly overlooked by the Palace for a Gong, so I think I too am going to move to Canada. Much more deservingly, however, our UK programme director, Janice Lepatkin, did get the call up. Janice has devised and led our highly respected refugee employment programme in the UK, also known as STEP. I'm sure you will all join me in congratulating her for her deserved recognition through the award of an MBE and a trip to the palace to meet the Queen. Our specialist employment and training program for refugees continues to receive positive media coverage. And in June, six United Synagogue rabbis visited the program in Coventry, telling the JC that they were humbled by the experience. If any of you are unhappy with your rabbi and would like us to send them to Coventry, please do get in touch. <laughs> and if you're in any doubt that we are a British Jewish organization making a difference across the world, just look at our work. We have just received the largest ever DFID grant to a British Jewish charity for our program in Rwanda, helping young people with disabilities establish successful careers in areas like agriculture. On behalf of the British Jewish community, we were able to embrace our communal responsibility to help people affected by international disasters, ensuring those in desperate need were not forgotten and not alone. As well as launching an appeal for the victims of the cyclone that hit Mozambique, 
we were also able to respond to smaller emergencies in places like Haiti and Myanmar because lest we forget, not all humanitarian crises make our front page. And we have been delighted that so many of you have visited different areas of our work this year, Ukraine, Moldova, Transnistria, and Poland, to name a few. One of the most unique experiences was when 40 Jewish visitors stopped off in Oni, a small town high in the Georgian mountains to meet the last 10 Jews living there who all received support from World Jewish Relief. They were able to make up a minion in the magnificent synagogue for the Mincha service, the first in over a decade. And you all thought it was a schlep coming here tonight. <laughs> Most importantly, it is our supporters and volunteers who help us achieve all of this important work. We have numerous committees that do amazing things for us, reaching out their networks, putting on events, and advocating on our behalf. Gemini is one of our most long-standing committees that has been running for 45 years, and in that time has raised over 100,000 pounds for World Jewish Relief. Tonight, we want to honor their loyalty and commitment by presenting them with World Jewish Relief's Volunteer of the Year Award. Please join me in congratulating them. As you can see, there is so much to celebrate. We are thrilled to have such great support in the room tonight, and we hope that you all feel equally proud to be here. Tonight, we can make sure that our vulnerable Jewish communities are not forgotten and not alone, whilst remembering that collectively, as Jews, we also have a duty to help those beyond our own community where we can. Thank you for allowing me the stage tonight. Next year, I promise normal service will be resumed and you'll get someone decent who knows how to read auto cue. <laughs> In the meantime, you can look forward to hearing from our very special guest tonight, Rory Stewart. We're so excited to have got him, and he promises to sing all his big hits, including Maggie May and Sailing. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner. Thank you.